This video analyzes Silk Test Workbench visual test results and is covered in the following sections. The result window overview, using the result window tabs, using the result window toolbar, using the properties pane and using the screen preview. After playing back a visual test or script you can view the results of the playback in the result window. The result window contains the visual navigator which allows you to quickly see all aspects of test playback. In addition to the visual navigator the result window contains the following features and functionality. The result window toolbar, the result window tabs, pass tab displays all past verifications, fail tab displays all failed verifications, flags tab displays any flag steps created by verification logic details tab. For visual tests the pass tab, fail tab, flags tab, details tab all contain the four panes of the visual navigator which include test steps, screen preview, properties, and storyboard. The details tab displays the result of every step using the four panes of the visual navigator. Test steps list information about the playback result of each step in the visual test. When a step is selected, Silk Test Workbench updates the other panes with information specific to the selected step. Screen preview displays the web application screens captured during playback. In the screen preview, the screen captured during playback is compared against the screen captured when the visual test was first recorded. Properties displays the properties of a step. In the properties pane, the properties of the selected step are listed. Storyboard provides a graphical outline and overview of a result. In the storyboard, the group of steps in which the step occurs is highlighted. The Passed, Failed and Flags tabs also display result information using the Visual Navigator. The Result Window toolbar contains the following buttons and list boxes for customising the display and type of content found in a result. Filter Results by Type selection provides quick access to all predefined and user-defined result filters. Select a filter from the list. Manage Filters opens the Manage Filters dialog box from which you can create, edit and apply result filters. Criteria displays the Criteria dialog box from which you can set a percentage of past verifications as the criteria to define the success of all future runs. For example, a past criteria of 90% means that at least 9 out of 10 verifications in a visual test or script must pass for the result of the playback to pass. Setting this option updates the playback result option result pass criteria percentage. This percentage is applied to all future results. Show all runs opens the run detail dialog box which displays the details of each result run. From this dialog box you can open or delete any previous run. Refresh refreshes the current result. View for visual tests sets the type of steps to appear in the test steps pane. Click the drop down arrow next to this button and select to view either steps only, screen steps only or both. Basic view displays the standard test step pane information with the additional columns of the result and result detail. The Properties pane displays properties of a step that describe the basic characteristics of the step. Click the step, enter 42. This step performs the action of typing the value 42 into the age text box. The properties are grouped into the following main categories. Result. Extended properties. Extended properties are helpful to view the contents of variables or expressions when they are used in action steps. Click the Show Hide Step Properties of Visual Test Before Playback icon. The Visual Test Details node appears and lists all of the original properties of the step as they exist in the Visual Test. The Screen Preview displays a captured image of the test application 
for each step in the test steps pane that interacts with the control. In the test step pane, select the step that contains the year of the car. Enter 2010. The control for this step is highlighted by a black box. In the screen preview, the screen captured during playback appears next to the screen captured during the recording of the visual test. In the screen preview, click Actions, Show Differences, Off. The visual test screen closes and the playback screen opens. Click Actions, Zoom 100%, then use the scroll bars to position the page so that it displays the year. Switch to the visual test in the test steps pane, click Visual Test Window. Click Actions, Zoom 100%, then use the scroll bars to position the page so that it displays the year.